and it's kick off in the inaugural round of the Victorian Champions League version three between the Southern Blue Tongues and the Southeast Cougars and the Southern Blue Tongues in the maroon kit. And on a beautiful spring day, this artificial pitch lightning fast and the players taking some opportunity to get through and needing to be careful there. Play kicks came down and it was a perfectly measured challenge from the southeast Cougar centre half. And reads the play so well. And you'll partner up again with Nagasi. Nagasi's cross mistimed and to the relief of Gillo Cook there. He was unable to clear that ball, and that certainly should have been the opener there for the Southern Blue Tongues. Oh, it definitely was. It was so clean, so crisp. All the passes were just brilliant. Plays it short. Another opening here. Sabanowski. Definitely the player of the half for my liking, and the through ball could find its target. Nagasi. And well kept there for Mara Diiba. And between Nagasi and Savanovsky, they're causing headaches there for the Southeast Cougars. Cougars with a corner towering above Keo. It's still kept alive and it was nearly the opener there. Not a bad shot there on the left boot by Kenta Sugimoto. Scores are locked, nil all. Just on a half hour played in this first half here at the Kingston Heath Soccer Complex on the new artificial surface grounds. And the opener nearly found. And it was a great build up there from the Cougars and they were nearly rewarded. Hicks, this time supply cut off by Carly. And the goalkeeper, well, it's his first kick for the afternoon and it's a howler. And it's an opportunity here with the audio, surely. That looked like a penalty, but the referee had a better view of it. And a relieved man for Mona Dejiba. Yeah, I think so. Beautiful flick, a chance here for the new substitute. Near Gorian, he's flicked it on. And a chance here to break the deadlock. And Sadakovsky, he has been brilliant all afternoon. And... The only real time he's been tested, every time he's had to make a save, the ball's fell into his arms. But that was brilliant keeping. Simon Sadosovsky, gut. Finding the new substitute, Borges Evangelist. Carly. That's a strong tackle too, and there's the opener. And it's been scored. Finally, the deadlock is broken, and it's the new substitute, Borges Evangelist. That has broken the deadlock. The Cougars have done all the work in the opening five minutes of this second half and they've been rewarded and it's a smart substitute that's broke this deadlock. Marcelo Borges Evangelist with the opener. Here's Muscada through traffic and it's a great chance to finish too. He did all the hard work and did get a deflection. The captain there, Keo, and it should be a corner it is. The Blue Tongues looking to equalise this contest. An opportunity here, and this time it's superbly saved for Mata Diiba. A top shelf save to deny James Muscada. And near Gorian presents himself a second chance, and it's brilliantly saved. Sermon Sadikowski, one of the best for the Southern Blue Tongues. What a goalkeeper he is. Press forward again. Not for long. A rare mistake. Sabanovsky. He's Blumgart. And cut across and the keeper yet again. Sadakovsky doing his job and this time it's a corner. 65 minutes played. And it's the Southeast Cougars who finished runners up in his competition last season. Leading by a goal to nil, but how long will this last? The audio cut a cross goal, unable to connect there. Domeski, more read, and they're certainly pressing. Mascara to take this set piece to get the blue tongues back in this contest. Well, 
just over the bat. With the run of Carly on the left side. Squares it in. In fact, he could have advanced himself. Here, Gorian. He copped a deflection and that kept the player on side there in the sense eight. And that's Blue Tongues defending amazingly. And what about that for a save? Sadakovsky again. And he is being yellow carded. Yellow must have been for descent. Rogers Evangelist and the Agurian surely may have been a penalty, but in the in the Blue Tongues case, may have collected the football first. And I think the replay might indicate that. The tackle there. Just collecting the football before the Agurian. Couldn't clear. And nearly falling for descent. And opportunity Carly to put this game away and what about that the opportunity to put the game away Carly thought it was three points in the bag this man here Sadakovsky has completely sealed his man of the match status the damage there for the Southern Blue Tongues could be much worse had it not been for the keeping of Sermon Sadakovsky Elliot can use the services of his keeper Jiba and it's cut off Jiba it's been a weakness in his game, but he's made up for it. That was going through. That crack there from Thakwi. And the only weakness in Fumata Jiba's game has been his clearances twice this afternoon. Deep corner coming in. Cut across goal. And this time tipped over by Jiba again. And they're fighting to the death, the Blue Tongues. And full time is signalled, and it's a one goal to nil victory over the Blue Tongues. The goal scorer, Marcelo Borges Evangelist, in the second half. We trust you've enjoyed the coverage here from Kingston Heath, and we'll be back with more action from the Champions League next week.